So basically with the Janol um, 18S incubator, most of the instructions come on the front cover, the operation tips on how to basically set the temperature and how many days. And it's got up here, it has a little um, air vent and it's got the plug. Then underneath, we've got the fan here. Um, this right here is actually to be um, what's used to turn the eggs. And then this here is the sensor for the temperature. And that's all in your top shelf. Then this is your bottom shelf here. There's some little vents in there as well. Plus it has a hose here and connects to this, which is gonna be our automatic waterer, which is something I'm kind of excited about. Then we have the tray that goes on the bottom. Um, we're going to be putting a little bit of water um, just underneath this in just a moment, but I'm getting you the basics of how it's set up. So this is basically where the chicks will hatch. And then we have this other neat little thing, which is just going to go on there like that. And basically what's going to happen, the eggs are going to go in here and it's going to slide from side to side rolling your eggs, which is quite cool. And then we have these little dividers. Um, so basically, whether you want to do duck, geese, um, quail, or chickens, you can put your dividers in on how big your eggs are. Just line your eggs up laying down. Uh, that's basically the basics of it. Um, I like how simple this is to use. Really simple to clean. I'm going to go ahead and we'll get this thing heated up so we can get our eggs. We're going to get the incubation going. So I'm just going to start off by adding a little bit of water to the bottom. we'll be putting our tray in and we have our movable egg tray it's going to go down next make sure it can slide and it does and then we have our division bars for the eggs so i'm just going to need to size the eggs basically and see where i'm going to place these we're using chicken eggs today because we have chickens on the farm here and we're just going to see how big they are And as you can see, they're just going to roll back and forth like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just add the eggs now. Because my eggs are so large, I don't think I'm going to fit many in here. He's going to be able to roll just fine there. We might just have enough eggs to fill this thing. Perfect. We've got our eggs and basically we're just going to be, they're going to be sliding back and forth like that. And um, I've got, still have an extra. So, you know, if you have smaller eggs, you can fit more in this incubator. So basically, really the only thing you're going to need to make sure of is this little um, device here. I don't know if you can see it's a bar and that's just going to go into the hole here. That's going to be um, what slides your egg. So I'm just going to place that right in there and we'll put the lid on. So the first step that you want to do before even getting your eggs in is you want to turn your incubator on. So I'm just going to plug it in. And then we're going to make sure that all of our settings are correct and you want your incubator to be warmed up and heated up and then place your eggs in. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure that the temperature is set for 38. So all we need to do is to do that we're just going to press the set button and we're going to um, press the plus to get it up to 38 and set again it has days here so we know that um, we want the chickens to be 21 days or the chicks to be 21 days just to reset your days um, if you've had like previous uh, eggs in here to reset them back to zero you're just going to press the plus and minus sign together and hold for five seconds 
Right now it's reading 22.4 and we just got to get it up to 38. I do recommend starting it um, at least 12 to 24 hours before you want to put your eggs in. Again, a lot of the instructions or manual is on the um, face of this incubator. So this incubator comes with um, a little container for water. And what it is, is just going to be added to the bottom of this. I'm going to add it like that. And we'll put that down. There we go. And that is going to add water as needed. So I think that's really neat. Now, the nice thing about it is we can actually see the eggs here and we're going to be able to see them as we hatch. Now, we know when we get to about day 18, we're going to have to remove the removable tray and the dividers and just have the eggs sitting just on that bottom black mesh part there. So, so with this um, Janelle 18S incubator, it is saying that for chickens, uh, 21 days. It is saying to set the temperature to 38.2 from the first to the sixth day. On the seventh day, turn it down to 38 to the 14th day. And on the 15th day, turn it to 37.8. And then from incubation from the 16th to the 21st, turn it down to 37.2 to 37.5, which is quite similar to most other incubators. And it's saying to keep the humidity level between 55 and 60 for most of the time going up to about 75% humidity near the end of the incubation. 